like when you watch UHC, you know, on your Minecraft and they do that. Yeah. Goodbye. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Slash and VC. This is Vulture for NetHack. The adventures of Plato the Dresser continue. Uh, I'm here with Nye, as I usually am, from her channel, Nimcraft. Hello, everybody. If the episode runs a little long, or it seems like we're talking to people who don't seem to be here, they're we are not playing here this. At all. We are playing this live right now, so that's what's going on. They don't just not seem to be here, slash. There are no people here. It's just us. Uh, I don't know if you're paranoid or you're trying to make me paranoid. <laughs> Both. So I want to go down, but I've got to find my buddy first. There you are. Hey, did you just see him moving some stuff around there? I think he might have been switching out his gear again. All right, come on, man. Let's go. I really wanted to do the whole thing that you might do from Skyrim, too. You know, like, give him armor to wear and all that stuff. But he might take care of that on his own, too. Look, just let him be. I know. I think he can take care of himself. Uh, you gonna come down this hallway, or do I have to call your mother? What are you gonna call his mother? Excuse me. I mean, you think he might be hungry? I don't know if he's gonna be hungry or not. There you go. Have a have a food ration. No, he didn't want it. Alright, let's go. He picked it up though. Oh, did he? I think so. I didn't see it. It said he around. picked up a crude dagger also. Check that out. Wonder how many things he's carrying. We won't know unless <laughs> God forbid he passes away, you know, we'll finally find out what he's got on him. He's still yeah, experiencing it. They said too. in the chat, uh, Wanda probing. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wanda probing. Eat the giant to get strength. Vitor, that's an excellent suggestion. Have you seen my strength set? <laughs> I'm 1805, right? Watch this. 1806. 1806. I've got 23 lumps of royal jelly to munch on, and every one of them gives me a point of strength. How many O's can you go up before it goes to... I mean, he'll never go up to 19, right? He'll just go to like 18, 100 eventually. Uh, yeah, I think that 1899 uh, or 1800 is as high as it goes. Hey, check it out. He dropped a crude dagger. Looks like he is changing out his weapons. He must have found something he liked. You're so proud of him. I Look know, at him. Man. He's so real. And so this uh, stinking troll picks up the dagger he dropped and starts using it on me. You get back here. Oh. Uh -uh. oh, you're going down, buddy. You are going down. He's running for it big time. I'm going to have to eat this guy so he doesn't come back. What? Green Elf steps up to defend the troll. Man, what's wrong with you guys? Have you met the Elven King? He's right behind me. Yeah, material. Now he's invisible. Oh man, what? Come in here. Let's split the stack. There you go. Alright, next. Hey, Elven King, come here and check this out. There's some elves in this hallway giving me trouble. Go fix it. Oh, he ate a green elf. Oh, no. Cannibal. Are you disappointed in your Elven King? Oh, I didn't know he was a cannibal. That's just nasty. Well, he was hungry. He shouldn't be hungry. That's why I threw him a food ration a minute ago. He just put it in his pocket and ate an elf. That's just so... Well, disgusting. he used to be a dog. Come on. Uh, well, that's true. He did used to be a dog. Maybe he just doesn't understand. So I need shoes. I'm not going to identify these. I'm just going to have faith that the elves uh, know what to wear. Because I think they do. Yeah, quiet walking boots. Kind of what I figured. There's a bunch of weapons over here if you want one there, Elven King. Go check them out. It's all Elvish equipment. You probably like it better than whatever orcish crap you're carrying. The bullwhip trick is usually to get a good weapon off the pet for yourself. To enchant, to rust proof it, or force a kind of better for fire resistance. Can pets aggravate monsters? They don't aggravate them to you. They, ag they will kill them. They'll kill monsters that you wouldn't attack like uh, shopkeepers and watchmen and stuff, but the, they won't get mad at you if they, your pet attacks them. But they can wake up monsters that are in a room if the monsters are asleep in a room. What you doing there, Josh? Uh, cleaning out my inventory a little bit. I can't pick up this shield and I thought I'd give it a try. 
Maybe drop your gems. Man, other I, than your scrolls. I ain't dropping my gems, man. But I wish I had um bag. Really bad. Alright, well. Is it cursed? I can't tell. Blue and green shield? No, probably not. It's not very protective, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Welcome to experience level 11. You're welcome. So he's got elven boots. Looking at my armor kit here. So I'm wearing leather armor, but it's plus five, so I'm gonna hang on to that. So this guy went off to heal up. Not very impressed with that. Where's your honor, dude? There is no honor in the Nelmish Monk. Huh. You regenerated before I could get him eaten. You're welcome for that image. <laughs> you know, I might as well read the spell book. Whether a pet will attack another monster depends on the relative level of the monsters. I did not know that. I've learned so much from chat. I've learned by playing this game that there are not enough statues of weird creatures in our actual world, you know? Yeah, you should make actual statues. So my fail is through the roof because I'm wearing... What is it? The shield and the helm, probably? Although I've had the helm on the whole time. I think the shield is what's blowing in here. Let's take off the shield and see. That's two points of AC and it has a big effect on my spells. I can actually cast Force Bolt, if you can believe that. You know I can believe that? That's kind of cool. Makes me wonder what else I can cast now. Ooh, Fluid Ration. Well, you can already cast Stone to Flesh, right? Oh yeah, 23% fail. Um, force Bolt's like 14%. Um, take off your shield is what they said. Yeah, is why your average cat and dog won't attack a shopkeeper. It might if you drain level on the shopkeeper and maybe if you feed the pet some rates. Ooh. Ooh. There is not a chance in heck either one of us are feeding our cat pet a wraith. Yeah, no. I catch my pet eating a wraith, it's gonna be a bad day for that pet. Those are my wraiths. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad day for that pet. <laughs> are you gonna beat your pet? Don't Shut tell up. me, don't tell me. I only know if you're beating the pet. Hey, Vlad was here. Means there's a trap door right there. Not that I wanna jump into it. Hey, Elven King, <laughs> you ready to go? Come on, dude. Hit the road, Jack. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm stunned. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more. Uh, excuse me, sir. Yes. Are we, uh, gonna get the show on the road or what? You know what? You can't rush him, okay? He's got things to do on the level. Maybe he's got his own agenda now that he's a king. Have you thought of that? Uh, I'm thinking about it right now. Matter of fact, gush of water hits Socrates on the head. Socrates' helmet rusts. I didn't know he was wearing a helmet. <laughs> Socrates is doing all right for himself. His AC is seven, so you probably could outfit him with good, decent armor sets. He dropped the shield, though. He wasn't interested in it any more than I was. Hands down, the coolest thing so far I've seen is your Elven King pet. Ah, with this thing, I need a bag. God, I need a bag. What's up, Leo Crota? Heck yeah, Socrates. One hit. He's carrying a unicorn horn. Look at that. Thrust his unicorn horn at the Leo Crota. Yep. 
want to see him a, a unicorn one and you don't. Evidently, he found a uh, unicorn while I wasn't looking, killed it, and took its horn for himself. What a guy. What a guy. What a guy. He's got armor. He's got a unicorn horn. That's awesome. I love him. <laughs> Should I be concerned yet? All right. So, junk has got to go in the box because I'm out of... Uh, out of space in my inventory again. I guess we'll put up the knife for now. I'm not using it anyway. We can he put is up a proactive potion. player, yeah. Uh, we don't need the stinking cloud. We don't need destroy armor. You rename him Gungho? Yeah. I uh, and probably ate it. Yeah, you probably did eat it. Some of these things. Yeah, yeah, probably ate it. Well, hopefully. Well, that takes the burden off me. I was saying we're going to have to get two unicorn horns. One for me and one for him. But now I just have to worry about myself. So that's good. I guess I could start a gem collection here, but I'm still loath to do it. I need to make holy water. So, because I think that's a touchstone. Pretty sure we established that. I'm going to double check that right now. He's eating the Leocrota as we speak. Gross. No, that's not a touchstone. That's a, uh, not a touchstone, whatever it is. So. Either a bloodstone or a bloodstone. Are those six apples the ones you start with? Yes. Those are, that's where those came from. Alright guys, well, until I get a touchstone, I guess I'm just going to drop that stuff off in there. That'll give me plenty of space in my inventory. Uh-oh, hello. Uh-oh. And a vampire. This would be a good time for Excalibur. Damn you, Wraith. He stole my experience level. Vampire is going to do the same thing if I let him. Good. He's a good target for a sacrifice gib you don't want and a shield of reflection. He'll also wear an amulet of reflection or life saving. They're probably rot. Might drop them away. Oh my goodness, what are you gonna do? Well, I now know that that lightning wand is out of charges and the fire wand is out of charges, so that leaves the cold wand. I could zap, and the vampire is not lined up for a shot right now, so I'm going to wait a second. Oh, my kingdom for drain resistance. Yeah, because I could get one experience level out of that race. The next kill I get should give me my experience level 11 back. And yeah. uh, then hopefully I'll leave a corpse. Okay, so there's that. Cold hit. Oh, missed the wraith. That's why. Oh, my goodness. I've never had that much trouble killing a wraith before. He drank a potion of extra healing. The wraith did? Yeah. Oh, wow. He left a corpse. Alright. Well, that's good. That is good. That was a net positive. 
It was. The vampire's still there. So... Maybe you should let your elven lord deal with him. Yeah, where's he at? I don't have a towel? Or a blindfold? Man, I'm so underprepared. What the heck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where did I come in? I came in the level here? That looks like an extra up staircase. Um, boy, let's go this way. I don't know where Elven King got off to, but maybe... Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't guess he's level drain resistance either. I, I, resistant either, though. Right. So, that's scary. Because then, if he were to attack, if he were to get attacked by that vampire... Good grief, Charlie Brown. Wow, that guy's fast. Yeah. I need... I guess I'll try out some of these wands I don't know about. That must have been teleport. Is that right? The ebony wand? It doesn't say. I oh, know, it's make invisible. <laughs> Here goes level 11. Man, what? So it's... Not a good idea to make the vampire that's trying to kill you invisible so that you can't see him. Oh, man. <laughs> this is not good. No. This is not good. Uh, they're probably not going to enjoy it. You're level 10 now. Jeez. I know. Please. I got all the way up to 12. He took two of my levels. Ouch. This is not going well. I know, and I'm out of attack wands. Huh. Why are you carrying them around then? I don't know. In case I find a scroll of charging. Come on. Did he follow me up? Mm -hmm. Yep, he did, but I killed him. Finally. Yeah, that was tough. At least you got level 11 back. Right. That's right. Ooh, enchant weapon. Nice. So I've got... Yeah, I don't have any more enchant weapons left, but that's fine. I'm gonna remove that ring. Oh, I didn't have to zap myself. I had a ring of invisibility. Silly me. It's too bad, because I want fire and sleep and all that stuff. Alright, how are we doing on time? Do we know? Mm, not a clue. Is that my job again? Hey, is that that? Oh, that's just where the last time he thought he was. Right, yeah. Well, there oh, you are. Ha -ha. He's like, what? I uh, heard some noises, but, uh, you know, I was busy in the other room. I didn't yeah. know you needed me. Right. Maybe next time you can say, hey, Elven King. Right. You know what? I should see if this is a magic whistle. I did pick up a whistle. Oh, hello. Now, if the magic whistle works on your Elven King, that is like the most degrading thing ever, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he ate a Tengu now, so we'll see whether he has uh, teleportitis. <laughs> I hyper says you better grab a mummy wrapping. Engraving on the floor vanishes. Cancel invisible or teleport. I've already know see invisible, so I don't want to try that on him. Yeah, I'll try it on a monster here in a minute. What else? Iridium, and is that all? Brass, I did that one. Okay. 
So not a lot going on as far as that goes right now. My last healer died by a tangu while helpless. Aw. Hyper asks if you've got something cursed. Nope. No cursed items on me at the moment. What would we do with a cursed item? I'm cursed. <laughs> hmm. So what's the plan here, Slash? You know, I really don't have a plan. Uh, my plan was to level up. You can see how well that went. Less than prime. Okay. So... I mean, this character's great strength was his AC till I blew that. And uh, he doesn't have anything in particular going for him right now. I don't think. Zap the unknown vanishes wand at it. Oh. It says a potion you don't want or a scroll or something like that you can zap the unknown thing at. If you zap cancellation at a po potion, does it make it a uh, water? Yeah. It does. Unknown one. Here we go. Point. All right, let's teleport. Aha! Uh -huh. That's handy to know. That was a good tip to uh, zap that at uh, items. I always think you have to zap them at creatures, but uh, you don't. Evidently, you just zap an item. Did it detect itself? No. So now it knows. It's it, well. We will soon know when I teleport myself. I guess. It will know. It will find out what it is. Not sure what it is at the moment. One day. On we go. Oh, the orc captain reads the scroll of create monster, and the gnome king is friendly. Okay. Oh, I thought your elven king died the way you said that. Are you gonna cry when your elven king dies? Yeah, I'll be really upset if he dies. But the plan is to have him help me retrieve the amulet of Endor. Oh. Really? How is he going to do that? Well, he's still level 13, I see. Yeah. He's wounded, though. See that? Boink! Now he's fine. Nope, he's still wounded. How do you know? HP 89 of 104? Oh, oh, oh. You... Healed him after you look shut up. <laughs> Sup, water elemental. Jeez, Louise. I know it's tempting to let Elvin King do it all, but I gotta get some experience if we're ever gonna do the quest, so Yeah, you're hungry too. Oh, that's Hyper's plan, is to have a uh, Titan pet and a Gargoyle pet to help him get the amulet. Uh, Titan, yeah. Titans are awesome. Ooh, ow, 54 rocks. Well, I mean, if you run out of food, you could always turn them into meatballs. Meat I love turning rocks into food. So much fun. Yeah. Uh, I think that's probably going to wrap it up for our YouTube episodes. So I don't know how much time we're at right now, but I'm just going to assume it's been about 20 minutes and say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for being here, Nari. Anytime, sir. Everybody, come back and see if this uh, Play Doh the Dresser makes it onto his quest. You know, keep your fingers crossed. I hope it happens. Yeah, me too. Bye, everybody. Bye.